Tonight, hundreds of people are paying tribute to two of San Francisco's most iconic city leaders. Night beats Betty Yu on how people are remembering Harvey Milk and George Moscone, decades after their assassinations. Tonight, people held a moment of silence on the steps of City Hall for Supervisor Harvey Milk and Mayor George Moscone. They were remembered for supporting marginalized and displaced people and paving the way for diverse leadership in city government. In 1978, they came by the thousands in the Castro for an impromptu candlelight vigil and marched to City Hall. And tonight, 40 years later, hundreds did the same. Arthur Corbin was at both events. We had no idea who would show up. 30,000 people showed up. We marched down Market Street silently, uh, got to Civic Center. It was the first time the Gay Men's Chorus performed. And tonight, the voices of the San Francisco Gay Men's Chorus filled Harvey Milk Plaza in the Castro. Mayor London Breed and former supervisor Harry Britt were among the crowd. Cleve Jones worked with Milk in the fight for gay civil rights. Harvey uh, became an icon to a movement. But that should not detract in any way from George's legacy. And there are still uh, quite a few of us, like me, left around here who knew and and love both of them very much. Milk was the city's first openly gay supervisor, assassinated at City Hall along with Mayor George Moscone, known as the People's Mayor. Patrick Gallino was just eight years old, living in western Pennsylvania. Harvey Milk is really the only gay man or gay person that I knew as a kid, and I am still dumbfounded that 40 years later, I'm here in San Francisco and have the honor to march with this group. Milk's nephew, Stewart, was at City Hall tonight. As much as we have come forward, we still have work to do. Um, and we still need to remind people that, as my uncle did, that we need to work in collaboration and coalition. And we need to make sure that we stand up to the bullies. On the Night Beat, I'm Betty Yu.